Okay, so the last Future of the Channel video I made was yesterday, but I filmed it like a long time ago in like March or April. This one I'm recording in like August. Only a few months have gone by, but I'm in a much better headspace and because I cut off the people who were hurting me and I am also sober when recording this as well and I have reached a lot of conclusions and resolutions. So I feel like I've been reborn. So I'm sure you guys are like already aware of some of this, but I wanted to put it in a video to discuss the future of the channel because if you are here for videos, you probably are wondering when they will be released. But basically, if you couldn't tell, my heart is not in this channel anymore, you know? When I first started playing SSO, I loved it so much, I really did have my heart in it. When I started making videos, I thought I could fight to improve the game, and I'm sure that did help at some point. I mean, Rattle made videos, so did I, Daniela Moonstar, Eleanor Nightwalker, and a few other YouTubers. I feel like we did a great job. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like us and a couple other YouTubers really did want the game to improve and all that. I always said that people don't grow out of SSO, they just fall out of love with it. And although I do think that these other YouTubers like Rattle and Moon, Eleanor Nightwalker, although I think they still make amazing videos and all that, I'm just no longer in it like they are. You know what I mean? Because I've reached this point where it doesn't matter if the game improves or stays the same. I just don't feel anything for it. I'm not happy talking about it. I'm not happy playing the game. It don't matter what SSO does. I still just want the old game back. I want the old graphics, the old horses, the old everything. Like, I've always just wanted to fight for the old game to come back. And then I realized, like, wait, they're not going to do that. They're not going to bring back the old stuff. Like, whatever. But I can't have it, so it's just best I move on instead of trying to force the game to bend to my standards. That will never happen. Because even when Star Stable does add really cool features these days, I still don't care. Because I want the old game. Like, I want a whole different game, so yeah. But even if the game did go back to the old version, I still don't know if I would be happy since I don't do fanfiction anymore. I don't immerse myself like I used to. I wish it stayed the same. Maybe I would still play like I used to, but times change. If SSO did switch back to how it was in 2016, I would for sure probably go back to playing how I used to, maybe, or at least I would try to, but... At the same time, I'm just tired, and I want to move on. Because even when I do feel happy playing the game, it doesn't really matter. It just don't matter how I feel about the game. Like, if I'm happy or unhappy, it's like, I just don't want the game anymore, so it doesn't matter. Like, and plus, like, a lot of the community also isn't happy either. And even when they should be happy, like, for example, SSO added snow last year for the first time. That is, I guess, realistic. Like, we've always had... I guess Snow and Star Stable, for a while we lost it, but SSO brought it back better than ever. And I was, like, so happy about that because it was so pretty and so fun. Like, I had a blast running through Snow. But I was finding community from Star Stable that were just really horrible. Like, even though Star Stable was doing really good, they were still miserable, ranting, fighting, and debating and yelling over Star Stable. Like, the game can't do anything right even if they try. And it just feels like we can't be happy anymore. And it was just... It's really sad because it's like, even though Star Stable is doing good things sometimes, we're still unhappy because maybe we're just not meant to play the game anymore. I mean, if you are happy for the game and you still have fun, good for you. But I'm talking about people who are not happy in the game anymore. If the game is adding good things and you still are unhappy, maybe we just aren't meant to play the game anymore. Yeah. I was seeing people from my own subscriber base fight with people who were happy with the game. And people who are happy with the game are fighting with those who aren't happy with the game. It's just odd because I can't deal with it anymore. Like, people are dragging other people down because of opinions about the game. And people who are happy are being dragged down to be sad. And people who are sad are being attacked by happy people because the happy people are like, what's wrong with you? Like, you're ruining our fun. That's what I'm trying to say. The unhappy people are ruining the fun for the game. Because there's a difference between critique and... And being just flat out negative. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I just want to play the game when I want to. And not have to talk about it or address it. Like, I don't have to talk about it anyway. Like, or even make videos about Star Stable or anything. Like, I've had a lot of people from this channel tell me they don't care about me. And they're only here for Star Stable anyway. So, it's not like they'll be missing me if I dip out, you know? 
You don't need Star Stable to play Star Stable. You don't need a YouTuber to tell you what to do. But if you really do want to, like, see me still, I mean, I have a vlog channel if you're there for me instead of just the game. But don't get me wrong, I also have been a horrible person in the community who was unhappy, and maybe I even fueled unhappy people at some point with Star Stable. But I just want to escape it and better myself at this point because it's exhausting how there is no break from the misery. It's just unhappy people always talking about what they hate. You can't like something in the game because they'll yell at you like you are in a political fight. It's just so draining. Also, want to make this clear, when I say there's unhappy or miserable people, I'm talking mainly about the community that is hating on other players, you know? Because it's like, it's not fun, you know? Like, there's people who are sending hate to game developers. There are people who are sending hate to the company itself, and people who are hating on YouTubers because misery loves company. If unhappy people are unhappy, they will try to drag people down with them to make them also unhappy because misery loves company. And I guess for a while I was that person because I was taking my anger out on Star Stable, and then people who were unhappy were also taking their anger out on me. And then I was taking it out on Star Sable. It was just awful. Because, like, yeah, I was still critiquing the game. But I'm saying I was taking anger out on the game because I was trying to critique it to it to become what I wanted it to be in the past. If that makes sense. Like, I was trying to force the game to become what it used to be, which will never come back. So it's just not fair to the game developers to hear that because, like, the game developers want new versions of the game and we're over here yelling at them to bring the old game back. It's just a dead-end road. It's not gonna work, you know what I mean? There are people who do critique very well, though. Like, for example, Rattle, all of their videos I've ever seen have always been so perfect. They critique so perfectly, you know? And Daniela Moonstar also does a really great job, and I think Eleanor Nightwalker also, too. I think these people have done the best at what they do. Meanwhile, I feel like I have given critique, but a lot of my critique has just been anger and rage because I have been so sad in my personal life and with my own problems that I was, like, taking it out on the game and being like, why can't the game just go back to how it used to be, you know? Which a lot of people think that. But there's a difference between critiquing the game and hating the game, I feel like. You know what I mean? Because... Even when the game was doing things that I really should have been happy about, I still am not happy. Because what I've realized is that I've just outgrown the game, but also fallen out of love with the game. But also, the Star Stable community just isn't that fun a lot of the time, because a lot of people are old players who are also unhappy, so they're also subscribing to you for the game and not you. So you can't be yourself because people don't love you for you. They love you for what you say about the game, and if you say stuff they don't agree with, they no longer like you. Literally, people said I was turning on them for changing my opinions on some stuff in the game. It's just that people are fighting over who was wrong and who was right, and at the end of the day, the game has different people with different needs, and some people aren't meant to play the game, and some are. Like, I don't think I am meant to play the game anymore, honestly. Like, there are people who still love the game and still play the game for fun. Good for them. I mean, even when this game adds cool stuff, I just don't care. I just find more game... I just find more joy in other games, and that's okay. Sometimes we outgrow things, sometimes we fall out of love with things, but you cannot force yourself to love something that you fell out of love with, you know? And I was once a person who was meant to play Star Stable, but... If I'm no longer a person who's meant to play it anymore, then it's not fair for me to critique the game to bring back stuff that would make the game work for me because I'm just one person, you know what I mean? And yeah, there are people who have my opinions too, but it's just that we're asking Surf Stable to bring back something that is no longer existing. And it's not going to happen. It really isn't. Because even when Surf Stable does add back stuff that we do miss... We're still not happy because we want the old game, the old graphics, the old aesthetic, the old storylines. It's never going to return, though. Like, a big reason why a lot of us are unhappy is because of the game changing. And if the game changed and it's no longer for you, then it just is what it is, guys. Like, you can't force yourself to like a game that isn't meant for you, right? Like, let's say, for example, you hate car racing games and you force yourself to play car racing games. Well, now you're annoyed. Now you're mad because it's not what you want. So if you're forcing yourself to take part in stuff you don't enjoy, 
of course you're going to be unhappy. And yeah, we could critique Star Stable to improve and go back to how it used to be, but it's their game. And even when they do add stuff that I like, I'm still not happy like it used to be. And I just think I need to move on, honestly. It's exhausting the time I have to put into talking about the game for videos. All of that energy could have been used on stuff that actually matters, like hobbies, passion projects, women's rights, animal rights, activism of any sorts, things that bring me joy. So moral of this story, I don't think the Star Stable community is right for me. I don't think the game is right for me. I don't want to feel... I just don't feel wanted here in the Star Stable community, but I also don't want to be here anyway, because people don't want me and I also don't want the game anymore. They just, it's just a lot of effort for nothing. I mean, I did try to talk about happy things on this channel before, but then I get comments from people saying they don't care about what, what makes me happy because they aren't here for me. They're here for the game. So if I change my opinion on the game, they no longer want to listen to me. So it's very toxic, conditional love. And I don't want to talk about the game. It's not fun to talk about. It's not fun to speak about anymore. I just want to move on and find different things that make me happy because... If this game don't make me happy, I just gotta leave. I don't vibe with the game, I don't vibe with the community, and that's okay. Like, literally, don't take it personally. I don't vibe with most people, most foods, most games, most hobbies, most, most clothes, most TV shows. I don't even vibe with most, like, anything, actually. Like, I'm very, very particular. I'm very, very picky of a person. Like, I can't help it. Like, literally, I have safe clothes. Like... If a shirt color is too bright or too dull, or if the fabric is too soft or too rough, I could get really overstimulated and throw a fit. Like, I am so sensitive to, like, everything around me. So, like, don't take it personal. If I just don't vibe, it's not you, it's me. Sometimes it is the other person's fault, but, um, it's not fair for me to blame the game for the way I feel because, like... The game has the right to change how they want to change, just like how I have the right to change how I want to change, you know what I mean? So it's not sad, it's just a conclusion I finally come to. So the future of this channel is that I have one last video releasing tomorrow. That's it. The future of this channel is that after the last video is out, I am deleting the channel, or at least deleting most parts of it. So I think I will leave up a few videos that I really love, but that's it. Like. I'll leave the channel up or I'll delete it, but I'm most likely going to keep the channel but leave up the best videos that I really, really enjoy. So, yeah, I'll delete, like, most videos and leave, like, 10 videos up only. Because there's only a handful of videos that actually are, like, perfect to me that I really, really am proud of. So, anyway, I appreciate everyone who showed me support for this channel while it lasted, and I really, really do appreciate Everybody who has decided to move over to my vlog channel where I could be myself and be happy and talk about whatever I want over there that makes me really fulfilled or whatever, I love you all so much for that support because it has really helped me understand who I am and what I want to do. The people who have always been here for me and what I want to do and everything are just so, so important because unconditional love is very, very rare, so it's so cool to get it from people online who want to see me be happy and do what I want to do to be happy. You know what I mean? Being able to talk about stuff I enjoy and be happy and make vlogs about my day or how I feel is just so cool. You know, because I'm not fighting over a game in those vlogs. I'm just living my life and showing things that I enjoy and people are being supportive and telling me what makes them happy too. And it's just, it's good positive energy. I love it. They aren't there for a game, they're there for me. And I think that's amazing. So yeah, huge shout out also to my favorite Star Stable YouTubers, Rattle, Eleanor Nightwalker, and Daniela Moonstar. I think they have always been very great people. I feel like they've always been really supportive. Also, I want to mention Amelia Dreambell as well because she was also really, really sweet and kind to me whenever we did talk. And yeah, I think that is it. Tomorrow is the last video, so yeah, Happy New Year.